Hi guys, so we're back on 23rd Avenue, the 700 block. So remember, the fixer over there, it's under scaffolding now, and they're, re they're redoing that. And over here, we're looking at 722. This is an off-market listing. Uh, the sellers apparently bought it uh, about a little more than a year, year and a half ago, renovated it, and did a really nice job, which we'll see. And now the circumstances have changed where a uh, sale is probably the best thing to do. This is Tony Allen, our hey. lending guru, and he, well, everyone knows. So he's, he's amazing. So we're coming in here. Right now, it is a three bed, two and a half bath listed off market to six essentially. So, what you really like, what I like here is that they mix the old and the new. So, you have the cold ceilings they come into, you have nice millwork or these new millwork that tracks the old. Nice set of stairs going here. And you first come in, you have a nice, wide, and deep uh living room i love that new light fixture here you've got the old fireplace which they didn't upgrade with gas or anything but they could they added recessed lights which are in i really like the sharpness of the code molding moldings and they did double paint windows here with great hardware as well see so if you can see that there you go i love those windows they open that way when it's warm you get a nice breeze coming in so beyond the entry foyer, you have the built-ins of the dining room and you have this really lovely kitchen, which we'll go into first. Some more traditional feel. Uh, I really like it too. Love that uh, decorative tile, the concrete tile, I think. With pattern, you've got a nice uh, stone countertop. I think that might be marble, but it might be porcelain or it might be uh, quartz as well. You have the nice slide-in Bosch gas stove. It's a five-inch one with a nice hood as well. I uh, love this farmhouse sink, and you've got the filter water, and you've got your pool down there. They've tracked the floor plan as before, so it's pretty nice. You just have this little pantry here, and then the bathroom back here, they just updated it. Really nicely done. It's bright, and it's nice. I love the pattern on the floor. That's your yard access as well. So over here, you have this nice office, which is great. Clearly somebody must have went to Michigan here. So we take a look, the yard is nice and deep. It's really big. If you wanted to, you could try to do some direct access um, if you wanted to. And then here you have the built-in, which is great. I really like that, that's a cool detail. And then you have the new recessed lights and updated light fixtures as well. Wood floors are part of the original, really well maintained, and they are just a nice rich tone here. Going upstairs, you've got the three bedrooms, actually even four if you really think about it, but three right now. And you've got the two bathrooms as well. So coming up here, you'll notice there's a really nice skylight above and a nice chandelier as well and in here they've done a great job in terms of oh wait there is two bathrooms up here i like that light fixture here and over here they added a full bath a master bath as well i like this high sink i love the roll sink as well it's really nice and then oh so toasty you have the uh radiant floors which is really nice too and a nice full shower as well tile enclosure with the glass uh, the linear drain, oh, that's really nice, with the um, hex light motif, you've got the black and the gray, and then there you've got a smaller version of it. You've got nice surround <clears throat> with the tile, spacious and deep master bedroom again, and also they did the double pane windows, yet they kept the preserved mullion look as well, because it's uh, that arts and crafts and awarding the feel, and you still have a nice size closet too. Over here, two rooms and then the third room back there same sort of uh theme over in this bathroom as well it's a really tall um nice gray hardware too the black and white theme the hex tile the stone the chrome oh, that's a stone. anyway and then i love the uh, uh little darting in the uh balusters too room number one and i actually like the uh, curtains on too room number two and again, you have the, like you said, the chrome, and you also have the double pane uh, glass too. And then in here, you've got the other room back there. And one thing, a little detail that I really like is that they did the great um, hardware too, and yet kept that vibe, but it's contemporary. Nice uh, millwork and wainscoting. And let's go downstairs. So the basement, it's a two car tandem garage right now. Uh, there are fan storage and there is an opportunity i think to add a little more if you wanted to coming back in here 
over down to here. So you have the two car tandem spaces right now, one and two, and they're station wagons, so it's kind of long, but it's nice. Updated the furnace, laundry is right here. You can see some of the work, some of the foundation work right here that was done, which is good. And then back here, this is sort of the undeveloped room. Tankless water heater there, lots of storage there. Happy, 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 sorry, thank you. Uh, it's tankless store, sorry, tankless water heater there. Going out here, and this is back to the yard, which is beautiful. And I think represents an opportunity for you to Perhaps maybe add a deck at the back so you have more of that space captured here and you can do a little work if you want, but you don't have to because they've done the bulk of the work. There's a sprinkler system there too. So you have a lot of the stuff uh, already done for you and you can customize it if you want, but I think they've done a great job. So right now it's off market and I don't think it'll be on the market anytime particularly soon. Um, so it's a good opportunity. I thought you guys might like it. Uh, listen with our colleague over here at Vanguard. And of course, this is Kevin Ho signing off. Thanks for watching.